Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out Hyperdimensional Gore Food Shot Champion by developer Uncade. I know how you wanted me to pronounce it, I'm not going to do it out of respect. But, this is another LD26 entry for Minimalism. Uh, this is a golf game with a pretty wacky over-the-top twist to it. Uh, basically everything is super crazy and you control a like jet-powered golf ball. Anyway, let's just start it up. I don't even know how to describe it exactly. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of golf. Let's see if this actually works. This is an awesome character model, by the way. I quite like that. Alright, so we're gonna set things into motion here. I don't really recall having the ability to aim very much other than just this, so I guess this is all we get is a slider. Fairly typical. Let's see how my timing is today. And bam. Uh, close. Alright, so the shot is in play. I don't know what happens next, though. Oh! Look at that, I can burst it into action, and now steer it towards the hole. And that was way over. Okay, well, it was a good shot to start. You bad, kid. Yeah. Alright, well, I get the impression that this is gonna be a lot of fun. This game looks pretty ridiculous, but I like that a lot of the time. Great music, by the way, I really like that. Even, the, like, the introduction music and everything seemed very well done. So we're gonna just shoot the golf ball into the air. When I feel like it will hit spacebar, it turns into some sort of a locust or superhero or something, I can't quite tell. And I would just try and steer it towards getting that sweet hole in one. That was a lot better. Oh, so close! I don't like how the, wheel, the uh, wings clip through the, the ground, but that's okay. Anyway, so I guess all I have to really do is keep trying to aim uh, at the rings and try and get it into that hole. Now what if I aim way to the right? Can I... reposition my shot that way? Oh, I can. Okay, so let's throw it back into wing mode. Now I wonder if there's multiple holes or if this is the only one you get. Now I'm not a huge golf fan in general, but this actually seems like quite a bit of fun, although I have no idea how you're supposed to steer it from that angle. You bad kid. I really like the blown out stereo sound of the, the guy saying, too bad, kid. Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can... Oh, I think I hit it a little too hard. I wanted to get it through one of those rings, but I guess it's not gonna happen. I really like how the music bursts into action when you switch on the wing mode. I, wanna, I really have to get this once, at least. Right there. Oh, that was so close! You don't get to put it in or anything, it's just like, one shot. I don't know about these physics, they're kind of wonky. Too bad, kid. Oh, maybe that's a downward slope? It's kind of hard to tell from the angle, because you can't really move the camera around at all. Uh, yeah, just checking, no, you definitely can't move the camera around, unless there's other buttons I'm not aware of. Alright, that was a pretty bad shot. Let's go right into wing mode right away. It's a pretty cool premise. I could definitely see this becoming a real thing. Although, you know, the shoot, once you've shot the golf ball, uh, the element of, like, proper golf is sort of removed. Uh, because you have full control over steering the thing. I mean, there's not really much limiting you. So really, you could make some pretty impossible shots, and there almost isn't even a point to having a golfer at that point. And it's not like you really needed to have those rings. I mean, the propulsion... Oh, that was real bad. The propulsion thing works anyway. Like, you could have probably gotten the ball to the, the hole without that. Without even flying, maybe. Should probably test that out. But I really want to get that hole in one once. I just keep getting worse on the timing on that shot. The slider seemed to work just about perfect. Oh yeah, no, you do come up pretty short, actually. So you pretty much do have to fly. You're about halfway there without it. Uh, what it seems to me like it should do is there should be a, a much longer distance. Or maybe this time? Nope, still too short. Should be a much longer distance between the golfer and the hole. Uh, reason being to give you some sort of incentive to have to fly accurately through a whole bunch of obstacles. And, you know, right now it seems like you could really just get away with uh, just flying straight every time. I mean, there's not really an incentive to use those other side ones unless you get score for that and... If you do, 
Uh, it's not really telling me about it. Then again, everything could change once I get this hole. Maybe... Maybe there are other situations that come up. I would certainly hope so if they've developed this much of it. Oh! Oh, come on now! This might be a little be difficult. Back, kid. I mean, there's a reason getting a hole in one in golf is kind of a big deal. And you don't even have to fly to be able to do that. So add that into the mix, I don't know. Takes me back to my days of playing Mario Golf. Those were strange days. Played a lot of that game for whatever reason. Alright, I've gotta get this. I feel like I'm landing a plane here. You have no control over it once the thing hits the ground. I mean, you can't, like, slightly edge it to one side or the other. So this entire video is going to me be going to be me trying to get a single shot in with one try. How about you just let me get a birdie? Come on, that makes sense with the whole flying theme. Maybe an eagle? I don't know, just give me one more putt after that initial throw or shot. I think that would be a lot better. Oh, come on. I'm determined, I can't not do this. Whoa, okay, that was the worst shot possible. I didn't realize we were already going. Alright, let's see if we can uh, parlay that into some sort of an effective maneuver. Oh, okay, what's up with the angle there? No! I will not go through that. <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. Too bad, kid. I would definitely say if this gets extended into a full release of some kind, or at least developed upon, uh, have a few other sound bites, because I really like the sound bites, but yeah, just mix it up. I mean, that's probably something I don't even need to say. Uh, but the aesthetic is pretty much spot on. I mean, this is all pretty goofy and over the top, and I think the color scheme works really well. The music is perfect. Just get the freaking ball in the hole for once. Just come on now. I think I've gotten just about everywhere around getting it, uh, getting the shot in, but it's just like not happening for me today. I wish I was keeping track. Maybe I should put, like, a counter in the corner of this. Shot number 65! No, we're not quite that high yet. Reminds me a little bit of Zenith with that contrail coming uh, out behind it. Oh, oh, come on! You're killing me! I desperately just want to get the, the hole so I can move on and see what happens after this, if anything. I also would love to see some backstory on this character. Looks like somebody from a futuristic game show or something. Yeah, it's just like the baseline just kicks in when you, you shoot the wings out. It's such a nice feeling. Alright, so this time is gonna be different, right? This time... Oh, this time wasn't different! Too bad, kid. How long are you going to watch me do this before you skip ahead in the video to see if I've gotten it? I wish I had more engaging stuff to talk about. This is a, it's a pretty cool game. I don't dislike it, it's just a little bit challenging for some of the wrong reasons, perhaps. Maybe a little frustrating. I mean, maybe I'm just terrible at this, but I feel like I'm doing it as well as I can. Maybe once you get the you technique bad, down, you can just pretty much nail it every single time, but I'm not quite at that point yet. Alright, we're gonna use the wings early. We're gonna hit this ring here and see if we can possibly shoot our way to victory. I don't know about why this time is gonna matter. and Or why I'm hitting spacebar also when I get to the... Uh, the putting green area, as if I'm gonna, like, slow it down. Maybe there's secret buttons that let me, like, manipulate the friction of the ball. I don't think there are, really. I'm just sort of making that up. Uh, so it appears to be that if you go through the rings, you're actually kind of screwing your chances of actually getting... Whoa, okay, the thing wouldn't eject that time. You're screwing your chances of actually getting uh, a hole, because you've pretty much given yourself too much velocity. 
Whoa, okay, that's looking... Oh, come on! Too bad, You're kid. killing me. This is like torture at this point. What is this seriously, like, 40 shots that I've taken? Alright, it seems like there's, there's a certain point in trajectory when you're actually finally allowed to shoot the wings out. And if you try to do it before that, it doesn't really get you anywhere. It's like a nice, smooth landing. It's like a flight sim. Alright, that time I totally botched it. Too bad, kid. This announcer is quite the perfectionist, you know? You can't really uh, get anything but a hole in one. You gotta keep playing forever. At least the music keeps me interested, for sure. Like, the, the music is definitely one of the best parts of this. I can't believe I'm still playing this. Should've been over in, like, two minutes. If it would've just gotten the hole right at the beginning, I don't even know what I'd be doing at this point. You... can't be serious. How close is that? That's, like, less than a foot away. This is extremely frustrating, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to bring you some entertaining, hole-in-one, hyperdimensional golf action. And everything, every fiber of my being wants us to get this shot in. And I still can't. I mean, that one, it just freaking bounced off the edge. What do you want from me, game? I'm running out of patience here. Like, give it, like, what, three more tries? Of course, this time I'll probably just shoot it right off the, the end. I like the dynamic of how the music is now quiet for a minute, and then it kicks in again. It keeps the, uh, the momentum going a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am a hero. And that is all we get to do in this game, apparently. That's regrettable. Well, at least I did make it. I was pretty certain I wasn't going to. Let's try and get a shot through uh, some of these rings. I don't know why we would do that. I also want to investigate... Actually, let's see if we can investigate the back of this moon. It appears that I can fly pretty much infinitely up. Could I do that before? I don't feel like I could. Where am I going? Am I way above... Oh yeah, I'm way above everything. Maybe I could just fly away. Maybe the entire point of this game wasn't to get the shot in at all. Oh, are we reaching? I think we're reaching the walls. It appears like we're doing a square-shaped skybox in this one. You see the edge right there, right? Now what if I turn... I haven't ever looked behind myself, I don't believe. What a lovely gradient we've got going on. Oh, am I, I think I might just be running into the wall at this point. So when I reach this corner, I'm just going to be done, right? Oh, this is certainly a little goofy. Oh! Oh, I've broken through! Maybe this is only the beginning. What is that over on the left? We've entered no man's land. This is always my favorite part. Uh, now that we've officially broken the game, we have to see to what degree we can continue to break it. What is that? There's like a circle, a yellow circle, and some kind of something up above it. Are we getting closer to it? I'm trying to steer it in that direction, but I'm afraid that I might just be stuck where I am. I think it's getting bigger. Hard to tell. Oh, it's the art! It's the art that says hole-in-one! I found it, I've gone beyond the boundaries. Well, that's pretty silly. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what else to do with that information. Uh, we can't really s stop flying, so we're just gonna have to kind of hang out here. What is a golf ball, anyway? Is it like a little man, or is it some sort of jet? Man jet? I don't know, this has gone on too long. Uh, Hyperdimensional Gorfu Shot Champion. It's a cool concept, uh, definitely could use some fleshing out. Pretty impressive that you made it in 48 hours, but I would have liked to see a couple of holes instead of just the one, obviously. Uh, maybe a little bit of putting action also, but that would have required a whole new convention, so I don't necessarily expect that to be a thing. 
but if this did ever become more than it is right now, uh, definitely uh, add on some stuff like that. I would love to play a little bit more of this in a slightly less frustrating context uh, that can really play up the positive elements of the gameplay, so uh, that's my take on, it, take on it anyway. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, see if you can get that hole in uh, way faster than I could, uh, the link is going to be right in the description of the video. Uh, as well as all kinds of information about my social media stuff. So if you want to check out other videos in the series, you're going to want to go to Indie-Impressions.com. Got all the uh, episodes in the entire series now. We're up to very close to 400 episodes, uh, tagged and neatly sorted for your perusal and convenience. Aside from the website, though, Facebook.com slash Indie Impressions. If you'd like to leave a like on that, you'll get every day's new updates. And uh, this video is getting a little Too ridiculous. Bad, Too bad, kid. All right, apparently I've reached the floor or something. Uh, but other than Facebook.com slash Indie Impressions, I've also got... There it is. All right, we're back. Back into reality. Uh, we've got the at Rockley Smile Twitter handle, so if you want to come visit me over there, say hey. I don't know what's going on. My brain is melting at this point. It's all this hyperdimensionality. Uh, but come send me a message. If you're an indie de uh, developer, feel free to request that I check out your game. I have a contact form on the website that I mentioned earlier, or if you just want to say hey... Uh, feel free to leave a comment under the video, or just send me a tweet. Whatever's good for you is good for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back again tomorrow for another awesome indie game. We will have a few more days of LD26 coverage, and then we will be moving on to some developer requests interspersed with more LD26 coverage, so things will be mixing up fairly shortly. Uh, thanks again, and have a lovely night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.